lab discussions. Experiment six is about acid-based titration. Acid-based titration is a volumetric analysis and is a methodology, is a method that is used to uh, find concentration of unknown acid or unknown base if you have one standard. Um, usually, both reactants and products are colorless. And when we are doing experiment, we want to find out how much of acid we need to add or how much base to add to, to neutralize the other uh, substance completely. We need to use acid base indicator. So we use the acid base indicator. What is acid base indicator? Is a weak acid or a weak organic base that is going to give different color in acidic solution compared to the basic solution. So phenolphthalein is one of those uh, acid-base indicators. It's going to give uh, pink color in basic solution, colorless in acidic solution. We have other indicators. We have universal indicators. We have pH paper. We have pH meter can be used also to determine the pH uh, and find the, the point of end point or equivalence point. But um, we need an indicator. We need one way to find out if the reaction is complete or not. Uh, molarity is defined as number of moles of solute per liter of solution. Uh, we also, in the, in the acid-based titration, we also need to know about equivalence point. What is equivalence point? Equivalence point is a point which uh, chemically equivalent amount of the reactant have been mixed based on the stoichiometry of the reaction. What does it mean? For example, one, we have HCl, NaOH gives NaCl and H2O. Uh, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, it reacts one to one ratio. So, so it will, um, number of moles of acid would equal the number of moles of base at the equivalence point. But for the next example, when we have the sulfuric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide, giving sodium sulfate and water, it still is salt and, and, and water as a product, but this reaction, uh, the reactants do not react one-to-one uh, -one ratio. And if it doesn't react one-to-one -one ratio, then we have to have, uh, we have to look at the stoichiometry reaction. So it says, which chemically equivalent amount of the reactant have been mixed based on a stoichiometry of the reaction. So at the equivalence point, two moles of sodium hydroxide would react with one mole of H2SO4. Um, you have examples to cal for calculation in, for the pre-lab. Uh, one of the example say, says titration of 20 milliliter of 0.15 molar HCl requires 25 milliliters of NaOH solution. Uh, find the concentration for sodium hydroxide. What would be the concentration for sodium hydroxide? So if we say concentration, basically we are looking for molarity for sodium hydroxide. I'm going to work differently uh, or go with the definition. So let's say I want to find molarity of sodium hydroxide. Based on definition, what is molarity? Molarity is number of moles of NaOH divided by volume of NaOH expressed in liter. Do I have number of moles given by this problem? Do I have the volume given by this problem? You might say, yes, the volume is there. So the volume is right here. We have 25 milliliters. We change that to 0 0.025 liter. So we have that. But we need the number of moles for sodium hydroxide. I don't have the molarity yet. What would be? I don't have that, but I know that number of moles of acid equals number of moles of base at the equivalence point. So I find the number of moles of acid. What is number of moles of acid? How do I find it? Number of moles of HCl is going to be equal to 
we can rearrange this formula because this is a general formula. Number of mole equals molarity of the acid times volume of the acid in liter. So number of moles for HCl is going to be 0.15 capital M is the same thing as mole per liter, okay? Mole per liter of HCl times 0 0.020 liter, because this has to be in, expressed in, in liter. And if you multiply these two, you would get the number of moles for HCl. Number of moles for HCl is going to be equal to number of moles for NaOH. Why? Because there's a one-to-one -one ratio in this reaction and we are doing titration. At the equivalence point, number of moles of acid equals number of moles of base. So this is going to be uh, three and then we have one, two, three, four. Number of moles is very small, 0 0.0003 moles. And we, now we can plug that number into this equation, 0 0.0003 divided by 0 0.025. And uh, then we find the, we will find the molarity. Molarity is definitely less than one. It probably is like 0 0.01. Let me see if I have this answer right here. Um, so yes, so I have, 0 .00. 0 0.00 of the 0 0.003 uh, moles and divide by 0 0.025. And that is going to give me 0 0.12 molar sodium hydroxide, okay? 0 0.12 mole sodium hydroxide. So uh, basically it's 0 0.003 divided by 0 0.025. That would be the molarity for sodium hydroxide. Okay. What is KHB? You are going to see also KHB in this experiment. KHB is potassium um, hydrogen phthalate. The molecular formula for that compound is actually uh, K. HC8H4O4, abbreviation for that is a KHP for just the, the purpose of the, you know, um, calculation. So we abbreviate and we, for simplicity, we just say KHP. Molar mass for KHP is 204. Uh, KHP is used to standardize sodium hydroxide. Why sodium hydroxide needs to be standardized because it's not a primary standard. Sodium hydroxide, from the time you open the container until you measure the mass, it absorbs water. So it has to be standardized. But when we standardize, we are using KHB. So we make the solution and we use KHB. The ratio is a one-to-one -one ratio. One mole KHB reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide. So at the end of the reaction, end point of reaction, or at the equivalence point, number of moles of KHP equals number of moles of NaOH. How do we find the moles of KHP? The procedure, it tells us how much of KHP we are using, and KHP is a solid compound. So let's say if you are using 0.2 grams, if you use 0.2 grams, you just divide by the molar mass, and that gives you the number of moles for KHP. We also know that number of moles for KHP at the coolest point equals number of moles of NaOH. So all you need to do, find the, how much of KHP was used in the reaction. You divide by the molar mass, and then that gives you moles of KHP, and moles of KHP equals number of moles of NaOH because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And when you find the number of moles of NaOH, to change that to molarity, 
we would say molarity of NaOH is moles of NaOH divided by volume of sodium hydroxide solution expressed in liter. Experimentally, how do you find this volume is the initial um, volume of the burette um, subtracted from the final volume. The burette increases, the, the, the numbers in the burette increases from top to bottom. So let's say if you have here 0, 0.00, and then you use, you, you have a flask, you do the titration, and when the color change happens, it comes down all the way here. Um, you just read the meniscus here, and then see how much of the volume of the sodium hydroxide was added to the KHP until the color change happened. When the color change happens, that is by definition known as end point of reaction. End point of reaction in titration is when the color change takes place. Equivalence point is where you have number of moles of acid equals number of moles of base following the stoichiometry of the balance equation. But the volume for sodium hydroxide, uh, so volume for the NaOH is the final minus the initial volume that you have in the burette because you open this burette and you add enough until it's completely neutralized. Mm -hmm.